Hello and welcome back to Mayersville Eco Estate, a bastion of luxury living right here in the south of Johannesburg. Close to all major highways, incredible shopping centers and sought after schools. But if that isn't enough to make you start considering the move, then the mouth-watering Italian and Portuguese restaurants most certainly will. I'm standing in front of a 16.9 million rent home that boasts six bedrooms, five bathrooms and so much more. So I'd like you to come with me as we explore this amazing home and show you why it should be your next one. My name is Chad Viveros. This is the Private Property Home Shopper Show. Welcome home. Coming through your glass front door, you find yourself in the main reception area and what a reception area it is. From walking in, you're surrounded by fountains and pillars, really giving you just a taste of how incredible this home is. But talking about the reception area, you get to see firstly, your top level where all your bedrooms are located and then on my right hand side, floor to ceiling is flanked by glass outlining the fountain your driveway and allowing you to show off your incredible car collection as you can see how the current owner of this house has already done what i'd like to do however is start behind me that is where you'll find your former lounge your guest bathroom as well as access to your garage come with me Coming down a short passageway, you immediately arrive at your guest bathroom. Incredibly well equipped, but what I like most about it, it is very, very close to your front door. So all of your guests, if you like entertaining, have immediate access to your guest bathroom without anybody needing to go through some of your more private areas. This guest bathroom comes equipped with your toilet, a single vanity, and a lot of nice, comfortable space. And I really do like the wallpaper. Cool wallpaper continues right here. This is your formal lounge area. Now, right in front of me is a wall filled with glass around about four meters across and two meters tall. It lets you look out onto that driveway and that incredible collection of cars. In the corner, a set of windows and a door that leads out onto the back garden is also responsible for the massive amounts of light this room receives. And on my right hand side is a wooden door that leads off to a four car garage. As you walk off to the other living areas in the home, you get to pass this right here, a set of windows that look out onto a beautiful natural fountain. And just past that fountain, you find the remaining living areas. First up is this right here, your dining room area, which is incredibly well equipped. You've got a 12 seater dining room table that is massive, sitting in here very, very comfortably underneath this crystal chandelier. Now on the right hand side of that dining room table, you've got these sliding stackable doors that open out onto your patio, which overlooks a stunningly blue pool and incredible views of the Mayersdal Eco Estate. This plot has got a prime location in the estate and the estate agent will definitely vouch for just how lucky you'd be to be able to call this home your own. Seamlessly from the dining room area, you have your kitchen. Again, immaculate and incredibly contemporary. This massive center island is flanked by storage. On my right hand side is your pantry through this stained glass door right over here. You've got your kitchenette on my right hand side. That also includes your lawn laundry area, your large sink, plenty of dry goods storage, and also a place for all of your under-counter appliances. So they don't mar up the look of your kitchen, and that's why it keeps these lines so clean. You've got a Bosch four-plate stove, extractor and oven, and then just next to that, you've got a Bosch coffee machine and microwave with storage running all the way across. And then we cannot forget the chef sink or prep sink with all the faucet attachments. This one does come with one thing extra though, and that is immediate hot or cold water and the water is filtered. So for our tea lovers or our coffee connoisseurs, you know with one click of a switch, you've got your hot beverage ready to go. What I love about this kitchen though is this right over here. You've got a built-in breakfast nook that is right next to the kitchen and the dining room as well as the patios. It looks so cozy and I think there's many families who'd love to kick back there and enjoy a breakfast every Sunday or weekend that they've got that 
extra time to whip up something special. Over here, this is your normal lounge area, space for a TV, beautiful views, but we've also got those plantation shutters here, giving you a bit of privacy if need be, but it does make this room again feel so much more cozy and relaxing. Down lighting runs the length of the room, and then as we can see, it is also air conditioned. Another set of sliding stackable doors lead you out onto your patio, which is without a doubt the icing on the cake for this home. Spacious, welcoming, and yet with an incredible view right here in Maysville Eco Estate. It is the cherry on top of this cake. But I also really like the small garden area. The rest of it is flanked with either wood patio decking or these tiles, but you've got this garden area with another fountain, some white rock. It does bring a little touch of greenery to an area that is Otherwise, one that you'd kick back, relax, enjoy a nice braai. From the built-in braai, you've got some storage as well as some counter space. But most of all, you've got this right here, a sparkling blue pool with a view to enjoy, well, as soon as summer decides to come back to South Africa. But right now, it's time to head on to the other wing of the house and see what that has in store for us. Here we are coming full circle back to where we started the spiral staircase behind me you can see there are two sitting areas one just behind the spiral staircase and one right here for you to sit down relax and enjoy the sunlight that cascades from this room filled with windows but right now we are talking about this wing of the house just off to my right hand side you have the first bedroom it's a guest bedroom that is located downstairs it is the only bedroom that is located downstairs we're going to check that out first and then it's off to the office The first bedroom located downstairs is set up as a games room mixed with an office. It has immediate access out to the balcony, beautiful lighting and views that anyone will really enjoy. It comes with an ensuite bathroom with a walk-in shower, freestanding bathtub, toilet and single vanity. The last room of the house is arranged in an office right now. It's got three windows, either overlooking an incredible blue pool and patio. The one right in front of me is picturesque, giving you that view of the entire Maysville Eco Estate. And then the right hand side one lets in so much natural light and lets you overlook the driveway, which is also flanked by incredible plant life. But you can do with this room how you feel would work best with all those natural light and windows. Now, however, we have wrapped up the bottom floor of this house and it's time for us to go up that set of stairs and take a look at what the bedrooms have in store for us. Come with me. And now that we're upstairs, you get to once again look down upon that reception area, which I think always does make you feel like this house is something special, which it most certainly is. And this is the first bedroom we are looking at so far. And as you can see, as soon as you walk in, you've got an area here that's been chiseled out with a wall full of windows and a beautiful spot to put a desk in case you do need to do some work and you inhabiting this room. It is very, very spacious. This could easily be a master suite. High ceilings, bulkhead with LED recessed all around, TV spot, and then flanked on both sides with cupboard space. Like I did mention, nice and spacious. I love the fact that they've managed to fit in an L-shaped couch here, king size bed, and then more windows on the left hand side in that corner and on the right hand side that brings in that natural light, makes it feel quite spacious and very, very airy. Another very cool feature about this room specifically is between those two windows, you've got an area of wall that you can etch out and cover in a wallpaper that really does bring your own flair or style to the room. My favorite feature, however, is it's got an ensuite bathroom that is a sight to behold. As I mentioned earlier, this room could easily be a master suite and the bathroom brings that to the forefront. Double vanity, each with their own mirror, plantation blinds just behind a freestanding jacuzzi tub. What a beautiful spot to take a relaxing bath. And then you come to your shower area, massive frameless glass shower for you to walk in 
and utilize and then toilet just off to the left hand side freestanding with a hidden cistern. With the first bedroom under our belt, let's take a look at what the rest of the upstairs area has to offer. Behind this door is a linen closet. Behind this one is your master suite, so we're definitely saving it for last. Behind this one is another linen closet, so you can have no issues with storage. Then you've got this bridge area here, with again a wall of windows and a stunning chandelier that leads all the way down to the bottom floor. And then we've got two bedrooms right here. Let's start with this one. This bedroom is again incredibly well equipped. We've swapped the tiles off for stunning laminate wood flooring. It comes with this very own ensuite bathroom with a walk-in shower, single vanity, as well as a floating toilet with hidden cistern. And then the bedroom itself comes fully equipped. Beautiful closet space, a built-in desk area, but the cherry on top for this bedroom has to be the wraparound balcony. Open one door up and you have immaculate views all the way down Alberton Valley, including Mayersdale. And I have to admit, sitting back and enjoying a sundowner on this balcony must really, really be a treat. The bedroom right next door has a hallway full of closet space. Your bathroom is the first thing you come up onto. Freestanding bathtub, single vanity with mirror as well as under counter storage, and another one of those very nice sleek toilets. Carry on a little bit further though, you find a spacious room that easily fits a bed as well as a work desk and again has access to that balcony so you get to enjoy those unparalleled views. And here we are finally past these two doors leads into your very own master suite and this one comes with a few surprises. First and foremost being this waiting area. You've got a whole frame of glass windows taking up a wall looking down onto your back garden. Space for these two massive armchairs so you can sit comfortably if you are entertaining people just before somebody does get ready. And then this counter space here with all of the under counter storage but there's so much more to this master bedroom. Here we are within the main area of this master suite and you'll quickly see that the design elements of this room has to be two things. One, tall ceilings with a bulkhead as well as the LED lighting. Quite a bit of space here, but space isn't the thing you're looking at when you walk into this room because the walls of this room disappear. Talking about bringing indoor outdoor living to life, this bedroom does it the best. It leads immediately out onto your balcony. I've spoken so much about the view, I'm not gonna mention any more, but being able to lie in the bed and wake up to this view is incredible. You can see the mountains and hills in the distance, and I love it. But another thing I do love, other than the extra space for you to design it as you want, is it comes with his and hers cupboard space for walk-in closets, as well as bathrooms. His is on the left, hers is around this corner. Let's start with his and then see what else is there. Now, as is befitting a his bathroom, you've got a ample amount of storage space for our garments, for our clothes, but not an excessive amount. You know, we are simple men living simple lives. And then we've got two sets of plantation shutters that close up and give this room a lot of privacy, but you have your very own balcony, which is super cool. Single vanity, under counter storage, toilet tucked away in the corner, but the most important accessory for every man is a comfortable, large and spacious shower, which is exactly what this one is, with a rainfall shower head situated in the ceiling. So you know, when you are having shower time, it's gonna be a pretty comfortable experience. The her side is a lot more glamorous, and we headed there next. And here we are, double the space of this walk-in closet and extra space, enough for this beautiful Caesar stoned countertop that makes up this dresser. But leaving the walk-in closet behind, we come to the bathroom itself. And in the bathroom, the luxury continues. Behind me, walk-in shower, 
double vanity with double mirrors and under counter storage. Toilets tucked away neatly and privately in the corner. And then behind me, as you can see, those plantation shutters. This time we changed the wood ones for these beautiful clean white ones. A chandelier hanging right in front of this freestanding bathtub. Really ticking the list off when you come to comfortable bathrooms for you to share with your partner. And now with the master suite all wrapped up, it's time for us to head over to the cottage that comes included with this incredible home. The cottage is located to the left of the four car garage. And as you open its glass front door, you head up a set of stairs that lets you in onto its main living area. Now this main living area is very well equipped with a kitchen, standout living area and its very own master suite. The bedroom is large, has access to a balcony. That balcony wraps all the way around to the living area. And the bedroom comes with its very own ensuite bathroom. A freestanding bathtub, single vanity, built-in cupboards, and walk-in shower is all included. So this cottage is perfect not only for your children who have grown up and want to leave the nest, but not leave so far as to move out, or even if you have some family or friends over and they'd like to stay in their very own self-contained space. And here we are back downstairs and it's now time to talk about how you can become the next owner of this incredible home. First, however, let's recap what we've seen so far. We've seen six bedrooms, five bathrooms, entertainment spaces that are both very well thought out, contemporary and exceptionally functional. This is also a home that resides within an, an eco estate, allowing you to relax away from the hustle and bustle of the city life, but not so far away that it's going to be a chore to get back into Santon or any of the other big metropolitan areas. And if you'd like to purchase this home, what I'd like you to do is contact Louis from Law Real Estate and schedule a viewing as soon as possible. Also, remember you can find your new home on privateproperty.co.za. And lastly, before I head off, please like, share and subscribe to us across all the social media channels, including YouTube, Instagram, as well as Facebook, so you never miss out on when we tour some of the most sought after, exclusive or unique homes around South Africa. From myself, Chad Riveros, the team at the Private Property Home Shopper Show, we'll see you next time. Goodbye.